For this recipe, you'll need steamed lobster, yum, top cut white buns, celery, avocado, mayonnaise, lemon, fresh dill, salt, and pepper. I feel like we're ready to get started, Randy. This sounds so incredible. How do we start? Tracy, you know what? The perfect lobster roll, we're doing a little twist today. We're not gonna do too much to it, but we're gonna add an avocado because, you know, they're good for you and they're delicious. So I wanna start by picking the perfect avocado. And what you're looking for at the grocery store is a pear-shaped avocado that's really bumpy. You don't want the smooth one. And you're gonna check here, and if it comes out and it's not all black, you know it's ripe. So Trace, you know like those avocados you open up and they're all pit? Well, when you pick the pear-shaped one, that is not the case. Look at that nice small pit. That avocado looks like it went to private school and drives a Mercedes Benz. Look at that thing. That is absolutely <laughs> stunning. So that's what we need. <laughs> because, you know, I feel like the lobster roll is just like the simplest thing. Really, we want an East Coast hard shell lobster. And then we're just going to add a little bit of fat to it with the avocado. But because we're adding that, then we can also cut back on the mayonnaise. So another little trick I did is I just took the edge off. And if you do that, you can see you can just peel the avocado absolutely perfectly. And then we've got this. So now we're just going to slice it about an eighth of an inch. Like that. And then we just push our knife and, oh, isn't that pretty? So Trace, hard lobster. You know that the East Coast has the best lobster in the world. You can actually get it cooked at your fishmonger if you want, or you can just steam this for eight minutes per pound and it should come out absolutely perfect. But the topping, Tracy, what kind of topping or what kind of bun do you look for when you want a perfect lobster roll? It's got to be almost like the steamed hot dog buns that we talked about on another segment. Like it's got to be a soft white <laughs> bun. All the stuff the nutritionists say not to eat. <laughs> Yes, well, you know what the, the good news is, they say not to eat it, but it's just so soft and light. It's like 20 grams of bun there. And I'm just gonna spread a little bit of mayonnaise on that. And they're probably gonna tell you not to do that either, but you know what, it's delicious. And then we go into a hot <laughs> cast iron pan and we're gonna toast that off because we're looking for the perfect vessel for this lobster. This is really the expense, isn't it? Like this is where all the money comes into play. And I've just torn it up. I got my fishmonger to cook it off for me because I was being a little lazy today. And I'm gonna go with one small scoop of mayonnaise, maybe a little, like one and a half. I'm gonna hit it with some pepper, a little bit of Himalayan sea salt, and the secret, we gotta have this, some chopped celery. And that is just for the texture, you want that little bit of crunch. Now a little bit more flavor, because I don't wanna hit it with anything heavy, like hot sauces and things like that. If that's what you wanna do, I'm not gonna fight you. But a little kiss of lemon, like just the smallest amount, and we just drizzle that in like this. And then we take our spoon and you don't want to beat it up. You just kind of like feather it in. But honestly, like this is like the simplest thing, celery, mayo, salt, lemon. And all of a sudden, everyone's getting excited because it's just like, that's all the lobster needs. You're going to spend 20 bucks on a lobster. You don't want to ruin it. So now we go back to our bun trays. <laughs> you look at this caramelization on there. And it's just the perfect little vessel. We open it up, right? Go back to our avocado. What do you think about this? That fits in there perfectly like that. And then we just take this lobster. And oh my gosh. It's okay if it falls out a little bit too because you can have it over stuff. You kind of want that. Can you tell me when the last time you had a perfect lobster roll, Chase? Let me tell you something. We went to Cape Cod, Wellfleet in Cape Cod, and every single time, because I get obsessed, every single time we went out, I had a lobster roll. I had lobster rolls the entire vacation. When I went to Halifax, lobster rolls. When I went to New Brunswick, lobster rolls. Like, it's the only thing I want to eat when we're in the East Coast. And I love that you say, lobster's so expensive. Don't ruin it. Don't screw it up. This is a great recipe for that because you're just putting together some key ingredients and then the flavor is like, wow, Randy, it looks amazing. And this is the true lobster roll and you know that this is a perfect lobster roll when it takes two hands to pick it up and you just barely bend it around and you now have to navigate how you're gonna get that into your mouth. That is an East Coast lobster roll right there.
You know it. Put down the knife and fork and they just might. figure out yep. a way to eat that in the messiest way possible because that's how you enjoy it. Oh. Let's watch him eat it, everybody. Mm. Is it good? You can't talk. <laughs> It's good. so good. Okay, while well, he's enjoying that, I know you want to enjoy it too. So we're putting the recipe at cityline.tv.